Oh, happy half term year 12, whether we're just starting half term or whether we finished half term, I really, really hope this one is relaxing because what I want you to do is to go and look at those year 13s. When you get back to school, just have a little look at how they're feeling and how stressed they are. I don't want you to remember back to year 11, how you were feeling, you know, coming up to Easter, February time when you knew you had your exams coming up. And I would like you to use the remembering of year 11 and the watching of year 13s as motivation to start revising for your ADOS now. Yeah, I know, over a year away. Um, but the sooner you start, the better it is going to be. Whether this is doing little things like making flashcards, making mind maps, printing off papers, getting stuff ready for when you need it. The more you do now, the more prepared you'll be for year 11, the less stuff you will have to worry about later on. Because your end of year 12 exams, whether they're just internal exams, whether you are actually sitting external AS exams, are important. So the sooner we start revising for those, the better. And the reason they're important is because these are things that are going to set your predicted grades and these are things you're potentially going to be writing on your UCAS application forms. These are things that universities are going to look at when they make decisions about whether they are going to accept you or not. So these are just, well, are they just important? They're pretty important. I would say they're not as important as GCSEs, they're not as important as the full A levels, but they are still very, very important exams. They're not just end of year exams that, you know, like end of year 10 exams where you could just blag it. These are important exams. But it is still really, really important to remember that you are the most important thing in this whole situation. We need to make sure that you are happy and healthy and you can see yourself through this. So, making a revision timetable, getting everything planned out, what things do you need to do when, have you got this prepared? When we come to Easter, when we come to summer, I'll talk about things you can do more than to help you prepare for next year, to help you revise um, for your exams. But at the moment, I really want you to start planning and preparing things. So getting the specs, getting um, the past papers, having a look at the multiple choice questions that I've written for you on my website. Lots and lots more stuff is going to be coming for A-level very very soon. So this video is really all about encouraging you to prepare, encouraging you to get things sorted out so when we come to Easter things properly ramp up for exams that you are going to be in the best position possible. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim. <laughs>